more about plant diseases. The global loss of food crops to plant pathogens is 15 to 40 percent a year. Understanding the causes and preventing the spread of plant diseases can help provide a secure food supply for everyone. Plants are vulnerable to viruses, bacteria, and fungi, but they are also attacked by pests that can cause a lot of damage. Insect pests may both destroy plants directly and act as vectors of disease. One important group of insect plant pests is the aphids. Aphids have sharp mouth parts that can penetrate into the phloem vessels of the plant so they can feed on the sugar-rich phloem sap. Aphids attack in huge numbers, depriving the plant cells of the products of photosynthesis. This can seriously damage and weaken the plant. Aphids also act as vectors transferring viruses, bacteria, and fungi from diseased plants into the tissues of healthy plants on their mouth parts. Aphids can be destroyed using chemical pesticides or in enclosed spaces such as greenhouses using biological pest control. And this is by releasing aphid-eating insects, such as ladybirds, and their larvae can control the pathogen population, so it does not have an impact on the success of the crop. Here we see an image of a ladybird eating the aphids that are trying to destroy plants, and this is biological pest control. Other plant pests, including tiny nematode worms and many insect larvae, that live in the soil, feed in or on plant roots, damaging them so they cannot absorb water and mineral ions effectively. As a result, the plant fails to grow and thrive. What we talked about so far in this video is communicable diseases of plants. We are now going to look at non-communicable diseases of plants, like mineral deficiency. Some plant diseases are the result of mineral deficiencies in the soil, where the plants are growing. They are non-communicable, not passed from one plant to another, it's not an infection. For example, plants need a good supply of nitrate ions from the soil to convert the sugars made in photosynthesis into proteins, which are needed for growth in protein synthesis. If there is a nitrate deficiency in the soil, protein growth will be limited, so the growth of the plants will be limited, and they will not produce a crop properly. Plants take magnesium ions from the soil to make the chlorophyll needed for photosynthesis. If the level of magnesium ions in the soil is low, the plant cannot make enough chlorophyll. The leaves will become yellow and the growth will slow down because the plant is not photosynthesizing well. The yellowing of leaves due to lack of magnesium ions is known as fluorosis. If the missing mineral ions are replaced using fertilizers quickly, the damage can be repaired and the plant will recover. If not, the plant will eventually die. 